may prophets be upon you. Now I'm going to ask you for a little bit of patience, all right? Because we're going to break down pound USD, pound USD. First thing we're going to look at is the news, all right? The news on Wednesday will be the FOMC, all right? The Fed interest rate decision, all right? Uh, that'll be on the 21st, Wednesday, all right? Uh, that's for the US dollar and its partner, the Bank of England will have an interest rate decision on the 22nd on the following Thursday. Two potential earthquakers for this currency. All right, now, this is what you want to be uh, careful of. This is what you want to be aware of. This is what you want to look out for. All right, uh, that if the US dollar on Wednesday makes a 75 basis point hike uh, in the interest rate, then we may see some uh, weakness come to the US dollar because that number is already baked in. It's, it's expected, you understand? There are mumblings and rumors uh, that the Fed, not, not signal, th these are not signals from the Fed uh, people, but it's mumblings in those circles that there may be a hundred point, a hundred basis point, uh, 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 rate hike okay uh what i want you to do is if that that 100 basis point right uh, uh, rate hike takes place you're going to see some strength come to the us dollar all right and it's going to drag the pound down all right but if the 75 basis point rate hike comes you may see the very opposite the pound will move up as the us dollar is weak weakened all right, it will be a short term weakening, but it, I think a weakening will come if it's only a, 70, a 75 basis point hike. Now, on the other side, uh, on the other side of the pond, the pound on Thursday will have its interest rate hike, and it's looking to do a 75 basis point hike, and that's the most it's done since like 1992, I believe. And uh, uh, they're trying to fight uh, inflation. High, just historic inflation, and uh, they're trying to fight off a pending recession, uh, and they're closer to it than uh, the U.S. is. And this is a this is this is not good times, right? But if you see uh, a seventy-five basis point hike, I look for. Uh, I would be looking for uh, the pound to gain some strength. Okay. If both of these things take place, where one is uh, the U.S. dollar is weakened and the uh, pound is strengthening, strengthened both by their interest rate decisions, you're going to see the pound move all the way up. You're going to see uh, you're going to see pound uh, break this high on the GU uh, chart I'm looking at on four hour. But first, I want to take you to the Dixie. This is the scenario. All right, uh, the uh, U.S. dollar index. Uh, we, don't, we want to look at it on the daily. All right. Uh, you can see that it's very strong. All right. A full blown bullish market. Right. And we broke structure to the upside. Yes, we had a little correction here, but this correction is only like barely 50%. You see, this is the trading range top, trading range bottom. This is the EQ, the equilibrium of the trading range. We want to be up here. And if we if we want to be in premium range, if we want to take shorts, we want to be in discount range if we want to take longs, right? Just remember by sit that, will you? And uh, I'm going to feel the origin of that, okay? But just remember I said it because you want to learn something, all right? So what I'm looking at is a scenario where we may see uh, some, it, it, when there's an interest rate decision, I, and it's looking, it's expected to add strength to a currency. I'm looking for the exact opposite up, up to the days leading into that uh, that decision before uh, it moves up, all right? Because I figure market makers want to give banks or whatever their discount rate for loans, you understand? And the opposite holds true. If uh, the number is looking to is expected to make the the market weak. All right, I'm looking for price to trail up. You know, kind of work its way up for a discount for the big banks, and then 
after the news and takes that uh, expected drop. All right. These are the things I'm looking out for. Okay. Looking out for. So what I'm looking for is because I think that the 75 basis point uh, rate will come in, I'm looking for price to sweep these highs. All right. On the, on, this is the US dollar index futures. Okay. I'm looking for price to sweep these highs and, uh, uh, and then a drop. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the drop this little uh, trail uh, uh, trend line and maybe fill in the gap and quite possibly take out these relative equal lows here. I, got, I forgot to take that off. All right. Uh, take out these relative equal lows here and fill in the imbalance for a deeper correction into discount pricing where price is expected to quite possibly start again, resuming the uh, bullish uh, trend. Got it? Now, the inverse, the other side of this is the pound. Let's go to the pound futures, all right? Looking at the pound futures. First thing I want, want you to realize is uh, the COT report. Last week, it was reported 73% of institutions and banks are short in this currency, right? And they have already closed 11,602 long positions and they're opening 6,052 shorts. Last week, they opened 15,516 shorts, all right? And they closed 5,746 longs. They're looking to short this thing. All right. Uh, and I find that very interesting. All right. They took uh, profits in their shorts and they're, they're on the side of uh, adding more short positions. They, they took profits in their long, ex ex excuse me, and they're looking to add more short positions. So I find that very interesting indeed, right? Uh, which way the which way the big bang sentiment is leaning now uh you can see how weak this is all right and why they would hold on to shorts but again they have closed a lot of their short positions right here all right and that line is at this 2020 uh, uh low and I, I mentioned this in my last um the last uh, uh, analysis I gave, where if we start trading below this low, uh, there's a lot of room to go lower down to this target, down to parity, right? Uh, so there, it, 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 this is this is a scary area. So the interest rate decisions are going to be very, very important to be aware of. All right, now let's take a look at the actual currency itself. Okay. What I want you to see is, first of all, let me let me take you out. Oh, I'm going to take you over here. I want you to see the monthly view. We're going to do some quick top-down analysis. All right. You see the monthly down here? This is a monthly demand zone, right? I just want you to see how well formed it is, right? Boom. Single candle pivot, nice bullish, very strong bullish and gopher. And here we are over here. We're below that 2020 low. And price is uh, just dipped below it for the technical break of that low, right? But we didn't get a break in close yet. But you can tell with all that momentum, there's probably some more bearishness to come, all right? And when you break these kinds of lows, there's a lot of stop losses down there for people who took longs, all right? It usually, uh, it, it usually means uh, that this may accelerate lower before it uh, comes up, all right? I am fully expecting price to rise, all right, to correct, all right, or to pull back because we just took some liquidity here. We can come back for a lower dip and then start to move up a little bit, all right? At least to test the lows of these uh, these candles here. So we're going to see. We're going to see. But uh, uh, that is the monthly view. All right. Here's the daily view. Sorry. 
what we have here is some bearish price action, right? And here's a, a nice pullback here. This is a pullback that I would regard as you know valid, you know, for a lower high to be made in this leg of structure. This oh, actually, this is actually four hour uh, uh, structure. I, I I would say, and we'll take a look at the four hour. But the uh, the main point here is we are constantly breaking those lows. I'm looking for this trading range to be, uh, you know, for price to come back into uh, at least a 50% pullback. You understand? This is a, da a, a daily zone, and this would be right around 50% of that pullback, of this uh, this uh, trading range. That's so I am uh, definitely uh, looking for price to pull back. Let's put a fib on this thing from the swing high to the swing low, providing this is the lowest point. Just assuming that right now. And if we come back here, this is 50%, right? I would like to see, I would like to see price come up. You know, I want to take a long from this area because this is discount, this is premium above 50%. Uh, we haven't really had a full correction yet. And I think that is still on the table on the cards in the cards right and this is a this is the area i would start to look for it right around here because that that is a supply zone right there okay let's go to the four hour and this is where we're going to make our money right there's a couple of things to look out for uh one it's a we have here, come on, man. <laughs> we have here a situation. Matter of fact, let's let's look at the daily as I have it marked up. All right, you can see that we are in the the uh, extreme of the daily zone. Here, this is that two thousand two 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 thousand twenty low. All right, this was a big old uh, demand zone, and price is just eating its way through it. All right, and we have broken through it. Here, all right. This is on the daily. We have a wick below it, but we don't have a break in close as yet. Okay. Uh, and what do I expect? Oh, actually, we have a break. I'm sorry. We have a break and close. We did wick below it before, and now we have a follow through break. All right. That is the la that was Friday's close. I'm looking for price to continue uh, bearishly. All right. And uh, because this is the reaction. Remember now, this is the reaction to the zone, all right? Before the break, I'm looking for price to quite possibly give us an opportunity here in this area, all right, for a flip. I'm going to be looking for a bearish price action. All right, let's go down to the four hour now. Now we can get down to business. Okay, so uh, just looking at the four hour structure here, this is that four hour leg of structure, okay? Uh, if we... Use our fibs wrong. That's not a fib. All right. If we use our fib from the top of the trading range to the to what is right now the bottom, and I think this bottom will go a little bit lower. All right. I'm looking for uh, but we're going to measure it for it right now. I'm looking for price to come back up here. All right. If it comes down a little further, this it, if it comes down a little further, if we have to adjust this a little further down, a little further down, this. Uh, zone becomes really important because now we're at the golden ratio. You understand? We're at the golden ratio, 618 Fibonacci retracement. Uh, so you can see it. All right. And there it is. There's a line. And if this, line, this zone holds above the 50, all right, above the EQ, uh, I would look for price to come up here and look for bearish price actions on the 15 minute for, uh, I'll look for uh, confirmations on the 15 minute to take a short from here. This would be uh, a pretty decent high probability trade in my opinion. All right. But there's a couple of things to look out for come Wednesday and Thursday. Let's, what are we going to do uh, on market open, first of all? All right. So 
this is the four hour structure here, this lower low, lower high, lower low, right? I got it, I got it measured here, right? And if we look at this, if price comes above the 50% for a correction, that it would just make sense because there is fair value gap. We have that news CPI data, uh, news candle that has not been corrected yet. This move has not been corrected yet. We had a little pullback into it and then we continued lower, all right? What am I looking for on market open? I'm looking for price, like I said earlier with the Dixie uh, on the US dollar index, I'm looking for price to show some strength before uh, what may be some weakness. I'm just looking to see if it will show strength or weakness leading up into that uh, that interest rate decision. So what would make sense for me is if price does continue lower here, and these are three bullish closes uh, to include the one on Thursday and Friday. There's some sellers that came back in there, but uh, price uh, found the buyers uh, resilient, right? So I'm looking for price quite possibly to sweep that low if uh, the U.S. dollar is showing strength up and leading up into Wednesday, right? I'm looking for this low to get swept and uh, quite possibly uh, uh, making a lower low, right? Before Wednesday's uh, uh, news comes in where we may find a 75 basis point hike with the U.S. dollar and price may find uh, the U U.S. dollar being a little weak against the uh the pound and then on Thursday I, I'm looking for price to accelerate that if we break this high here this would it, this would tell me that this pull this this uh Im impulsive leg that started up here this leg is it we're done and that we may be seeing the correction uh uh confirming the correction start right into premium price all right I'll be if we break this high I'll be looking at the most obvious spot, which is the supply that is responsible for breaking this demand zone here. All right, uh, this is the height, uh, this is the whole supply here. All right, I'm looking at this area right here and here. I'll look here first and see if we can get by bearish price action, but I don't, I'm not in love with this zone at all. All right, uh, this one I like a lot better because it's within the zone, it's within the, um, the extreme of the zone to take a short from, all right? But if we break this, all right, if we break this, all right, if price moves like such, right? And we break this and we mitigate this zone, uh, uh, this, uh, I'm gonna be looking for bearish price action here, first of all. I'm gonna be looking for my entry model, right? I, if once this is removed, because I believe this may be used as inducement to get people to, to trap buyers, uh, sellers into getting into sales early, only to have to take them out, take out their stop losses on the way to mitigating this one. All right, I want to see if this one holds. I want to see if we can get confirmations on fifteen minute for that for the sales. If it doesn't, all right, I'm looking for this to be eliminated. All right, with uh, some bullish price action after the uh, uh, interest rates, all right? We get a pullback and then a break. I'm looking for price to return to take a high probability trade up here, all right? To re rebalance that which is imbalanced and maybe mitigate here. I'm not in love with this zone at all either. All right, let me, let me be, let me be uh, as, frank with you as possible, all right? Because this zone has, um, similar to the uh, the Euro, all right? There's a relative equal uh, highs up here that could be used as inducement to come and mitigate this higher zone. If we come all the way up here, right? And then we get bearish price action, it, it, this would be a very high probability trade in my opinion to take, uh, to take a short and it does not disturb the overall downtrend of this market because this area is only at the 50% of this trading range that I measured on the uh, higher time frame. Right? Uh, if I can just get that last line in. Okay. All right. This would be right around 50%. And this is where I would be looking for, like I pointed out on the daily, 
for a uh, a continuation of the bearish trend. So those are my scenarios. If you have a question, if I, I, I hope I didn't confuse you, but if you have a question, uh, do make sure you leave it in the comment section. I'm going to do have a wait and see kind of approach to this. All right, I need price to prove what it's going to do first. All right, if we see it dribbling down, uh, I'm looking for the sweep or at least a, a mitigation low into this uh, demand zone here. And I'll be looking for 15 minute confirmations uh, to take the trade up because I wanna see it break that line there to confirm that this uh, down move is over and that we're gonna start up. Once it breaks this, that dotted line there, that is a four hour change of character. And uh, I would, as soon as it breaks that line, I'm gonna be waiting down here to uh for the pullback so we can go up higher all right uh that's my plan all right if uh uh i'm looking for a pro trend trade really all right and we it's time for a pullback i think all right uh we could go a little bit lower and then we're going to get a, a strong pullback and this is only a near-term correction and if we break this zone here, I'm definitely looking for the flip to take it up to here, all right? And then I'll look for bearish price action there if I don't get it because I don't really trust this zone because it was created by the CPI CPI data. And sometimes news, news candles that create zones, uh, they're like mirages and price just goes through them like uh, it's not there. Sometimes they work. So you got to watch how price reacts once it gets up there. All right. That's it. I gave you enough. I'm sure uh, I will see you in the next video. And I appreciate you watching. Make sure you play the uh, the September 17th through the, through the 23rd playlist of uh, all the uh, analysis I put out yesterday and today. Okay. I'll see you later.